Now, in this video, we'll cover the page level tracing. Basically, for enabling or disabling the page level tracing, we can come to the page directive which is available in every ASP.NET page. So there, you can just pass the trace attribute and with the value true or false. By default, it is false. Apart from that, you can also set the mode if you want to sort the trace information on a particular field basis. So, as I said, like it is by default enabled, disabled and you can enable or disable for an individual page. So let's see how to enable the trace for a particular page and what all information can we see over the tracing information on a particular page. So let's start the implementation now. Now to enable tracing for this particular page at the page level, I'll have to come to the page directive and at the end I can put trace is equal to true. So the tracing will be enabled for this particular page and when we will execute this, the trace information will be displayed after the page content. So here for the page content, I'll just put a heading. This is my page. All right. So after that, I'll get the trace information. So let's execute this one. And here you can see the trace information for this particular page. So as you can see, the pre-init, pre-init end, then init, init complete, preload, the complete page lifecycle is being displayed out here. Along with that, if you will put any controls, all that controls will be shown here in this control tree. As currently, I don't, didn't put any, so you can't see much things out here. It's just the literal control and the HTML controls which are being displayed. But if you will put some more controls like text box, you will get some more descriptions for that. And similarly, you can see the session information like session key name. It's a guest account in which you, because we haven't put any authentication right here. So these are few things which are associated with this particular page information. If you will put any uh, controls, the form collections, query string if it is there, it will show the value for all of them. So this is about the paging of a particular page. As here, you can see uh, it is category, then message, and then there is some sequencing. If you want the, to sort this particular tracing on some other particular order, so here you have got another attribute called trace mode. It's default if you want sort by category or sort by time on, at, on a particular time on which it is done. All right. Since I have sorted it on time basis, so these events will take place on the particular sequence. So it will be sorted in the same way because we have just only one page out here. So we'll, when we'll do that uh, tracing on the multiple pages, we can see sorting it on the basis of category. So this is how you can start working with the tracing on the page level now. 